Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and hi, it's nice to see everyone again. Um, sorry for my long period of uh, absence, uh, I've been a little bit busy, and um, but I was really uh, longing to be back and keep doing more reviews. I got a lot of stuff to keep doing reviews, so um, let's get to it and uh, I appreciate your patience and from now on I shall be um, uploading more videos for you so Mr. Lego man who's here as always now mask free at least for now has brought us a new recent launch at least here locally in Mexico from Paper Mate. over here I have a blue and black um, kilometrico ballpoints, points um, which basically is in Spanish for kilometric or as in metric system the measurement for kilometers um, it's a nice pen it's actually brand new I just bought it um, actually going on grocery shopping um, I always like to as probably many of you look around on the stationary aisle and look for any novelties or any new items so I bought a, a blue and black one actually they were really really cheap they come in boxes of 12 this is the blue and this is the black one as you can see this is for the latin america market box it's a 12 piece um ballpoint black ink 12 fine point actually this is interesting these are fine point at least for now only um and for what i see here on the back um it is made in india and it's also the these are apparently sold for Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Argentina, and Peru. So expect that this packaging is for these markets. Um, so far I've seen only black and blue, fine. I went and looked around for medium point, but I didn't sell them. Um, but despite only being fine, they really ride really smooth. And I really like them. And I like that they're really cheap. They were like close to like 30 pesos, which is a 12 pack with uh, 30 Mexican pesos that would be something like um, like a um, dollar and a half like around a dollar and a half so that's really 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 cheap um, and they write really nice um, I think they're really aiming uh, to towards BIC which is basically the leader at least here locally a very well known and very well established so um, Interestingly, as if you look at the design of the pen, and I'll grab in this case the blue one, it's fully cylindrical. The cap is very conventional, simple. It actually interestingly has the old paper made font from late 90s to early 2000s, engraved here around the cap. Paper made at the two hearts between paper and made. And printed here on the barrel, it says paper made with the new current font kilometrical which has been a logo for a while and fino which is fine in Spanish and here in the back it says India so we know that these are made probably in the same factory as the ink joys which are fairly popular and uh, write really smooth um, back in around I believe it was 2008 or 2009 that's when the ink joy was released and uh, it was a really a, a big launch and they really um, paper may really work in improving their ink so it was a really smooth pen back the ink joy and this one I like to think even though when the packaging doesn't say anything on ink joy but I think it's a fairly same as smooth as, as this one because I really really like the way it writes um, by the shape as you can notice and you might recognize it looks really similar to the big round stick you know those cylindrical pens that they give out on many hotels so yes it does look like the cap very similar same diameter cylindrical diameter as the big um, and I think it's even way cheaper than the round stick except that the round sticks made in Mexico and this one's made in India and so far this one's only available in fine point but it really rides really smooth I was really surprised and for a really cheap pen I like this as a future pen to be seen on offices or, or should be used because it really has a really nice point. Now, if we open, you can see the sort of close to needle-like 
shape of the tip but also a good part of the tip is also plastic you see the full barrel is translucent blue or light blue and the tip is full um, blue plastic as well as another sub tip here and the metal which looks good quality it really looks really well made there's no um, there's no um, plastic residue anywhere so it's really well manufactured for what it looks like the cap has air vents as you can see for safety simple pocket clip you know the kind of that you end up chewing or breaking and um, so how well does this write now let me point out something this pen as uh, probably viewers might recognize this is basically the earlier um, paper made eagle at least all in the US market um, the eagle is not available or wasn't as far as I know available here in Mexico or at least in Latin America the older Kilometrico at least when the Enjoy was released the Enjoy the one that we know was the 100 model um, they sold it at first at least here in Mexico as a Kilometrico with Inkjoy so it's basically like a improved Inkjoy I mean an improved kilometrical model now this one's supposed to be like a budget or cheaper even than the Inkjoy one and interestingly it's just basically rebranded Eagle but this is fine point something that was not available on the US one which was only as far as I believe uh, just a, a mi medium point pen so this one's really really uh, it's a fine point but it's really smooth for a fine point it really is um, I, I believe it writes actually as smooth as the fine point from the Inkjoy versions because they just released as well and I will do in another video the review um, the fine point Inkjoy so this one is just as smooth as this Inkjoy despite the fact that the box or no words specify that it has Inkjoy ink but I'm pretty much sure it's pretty, pretty much the same ink um, what I can tell you about the, my vague uh, memories of the older in, uh, Kilometrico which is um, what people at least on the US market knew as the Wright Brothers the old skinny one pen that one has more clumpy or more bad ink um, more easier to um, dry out or that's my vague memory because I do remember seeing those on elementary or when I was a kid so those weren't really that good that's why big even though big was used to be bad earlier and they really improved their ink until the 90s as far as I can tell um, the Kilometrico or what was known as the Wright Brothers skinnier pen was even worse so um, you, you can tell from that so and this one's a really true improvement so I think uh, paper mates really uh, stepping up their game and doing a really a uh, smooth pen and a really cheap which is really good I, I'm all in favor for cheap pens um, and I really like it um, I do actually also well like the blue shade at least the blue in general I usually tend to like the paper made blue shade so and the black one basically has a smoky barrel as you can notice smoky gray black cap and same you know the same fine point and uh, some plastic parts here near the end and the tip here on the back where it says well says India so let's take a look how well do, does this one's right let's see over here I have my trusty leather jotter let me just make a little some scribbling so you can see okay post the cap post this really well again I feel like I'm actually using a big uh, round stick so so this is a Paper made kilometrico ballpoint in fine made in India. So, this is the blue one, blue shade. Let me show you. Well, it's actually written in cursor, but it really writes really smooth as I said um, I like to think this is the same just as I enjoy ink um, let's take a look at the black one so here we go post it feels also 
follow secure so this is a paper made kilometrical ballpoint in fine made in India as well well the black um, I think it looks I'm not sure if it will be average it doesn't look so intense I think I've seen more darker shades of black but it looks fairly black not so grayish like other cheap pens so I have to recognize that from paper made and the blue one I really like the blue one as I said I don't know why but paper made has always had a nice shade of blue actually this same shade of blue I believe same as the one from cross so it's more original blue not uh, purplish so that's something really good that I like um, so will I recommend this pen yes I really liked it um, I think it's a great launch at least for here locally and I really think um, for the price and the shape of the pen which is not new has been for a while except that it wasn't available locally I think that big I mean big <laughs> big um, I think that paper mates really aiming at big and, um, and I think this is an interesting and a nice product uh, a nice reliable cheap pen you know you don't have to end up buying uh, no brand pens um, paper is a fairly well-known brand and um, and it writes really smooth so will I recommend it yes it's a really nice everyday pen you can buy like a really cheap uh, box <coughs> of these at least here in Mexico and eventually probably in the rest of Latin America because as far as I saw I believe on the website for paper made in US um, I'm not sure the Eagle still available and actually the Eagles only available on medium and um, it's also might likely be that the Eagles probably more of a pen for business purposes or um, for promotional items um, as paper made has their divisional division for pr uh, promotional products or pens so maybe the Eagle goes around there more than at least on the website I didn't see any more pouches or presentations for pens but they're really good um, they're really really smooth just like the ink joy so I do recommend that I really like them um, as I said I'm, I'm all in for budget pens that they write really smooth and well I hope you write, really like this review of this uh, pen I was really happy and really compelled to come back after I bought these pens I, I really long coming back and I really owe to, to you my viewers to um, to bring more material but I keep answering your questions and comments which I gladly do um, just bear with me sometimes it's very complicated um, I'm now doing outdoors um, so sometimes it's really hot I am actually up under a um, an umbrella here on my patio table so uh, but I really felt compelled to finally uh, make a video um, thanks for your patience and for watching uh, please leave your comments or if, or if you have seen this pen or used it in its eagle iteration or if you have already uh, found it at least locally um, to all my Latin American friends or people maybe from other markets where paper made speak so um, thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye